we may be in a little more trouble than I thought. Autobots, say hello to Shockwave. Shockwave and Transformers Prime, you knocked that out of the park. I, you're definitely in terms of Shockwave voice actors because there's been so many. You're de you're really up there because you bring just this cold calculatedness to this character that I don't think a lot of people, in my personal opinion, I know there's so many opinions out there, everyone has an opinion, but you just bring something to this character that I love. And to also mention that it's my favorite design. I just love the way he looks and what he transforms into. Um, is, he is, was great. You know, the, the key to that character, you don't try to be evil. You just realize that he has a goal. It might be behind you. If the goal is behind you, he will kill you. He doesn't have an opinion about killing you. He'll just kill you. So you play it sort of like bereft of emotion. There's no emotion. If I played it with emotion, it wouldn't be good. You play mm. it, except when Starscream was around, he kind of stepped on the last nerve of, of Shockwave. So Starscream and him, they always clashed. But other than that, there was no emotion. Do not think for a moment, Starscream, that it has gone unnoticed that you left me at the mercy of the Autobots. Master, are you going to allow one lieutenant to harm another? Master? I'm thinking. I am tempted to force you to share my perception of things. No! I only did what I thought was best for the mission. But I do feel compelled to add that it was my very error in judgment that made this happy accident possible. If I recollect, you were seeking to purge your laboratory of sensitive materials before the Autobots arrived, were you not? Your argument is logical. Love That's that. one of my favorite scenes of the whole series. Uh, that and the very first appearance that he has. Um, I'm not into torturing people in real life, but as a character, the torture of those characters in that first episode was really unusually psychologically interesting. But they never really went back there again. But the scene that I had with Steve, you know, when he was threatening him, when he finally had enough, that was a great scene. It was because of the other actors in the room. What do you believe makes Shockwave so terrifying? Well, I think I was saying earlier that his, his lack of emotion. Usually a villain, if you ever try to be evil, it doesn't sound evil anymore. You know, like, you got to think about, okay, is he is he sad and lonely and isolated? Is that what makes him a villain? Is he angry? Is he striking out? Is that, what, you know, his, his sort of core? Um, you see the quiet menace type, the intelligent, the delicious, I call them. Sometimes they, they call it chewing scenery. I'm going to get you now! You know, that kind of huge villain. But Shockwave, you are logical. The the space in there, the suspense, you don't know if he's going to say that you're logical. And if he doesn't say you're logical, you're done. So the most interesting part of that the, the, that character is when he isn't speaking. Yeah, when he's just there menacing. You don't know what he's going to do next. You don't know yeah. what he's going to do.